Hey guys, how's it going today? So I wanted to bring you a new video here, and as you can clearly see in front, this is a box uh, shipped through FedEx. So what this is, obviously this is in relation to CRTs. And what I have in here is something really, really cool. It's a CRT video monitor made by JVC, specifically a TM-A13SU. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make this video to show the packaging and what it's like kind of buying through eBay, the process of it. And as you can already see, I've kind of opened up the box already here. I, you know, I got a little giddy and started getting into it. But then I realized, you know what? Let me make, let me make a video on this because honestly, this is a good uh, tip or a learning point for anybody who's wanting to potentially buy uh, CRT video monitors, TVs, computer monitors, etc. through eBay. Uh, now, personally, I haven't had very much of a bad experience. However, uh, on this video monitor here, as you can see, there is some clear issues with the bezel here. And unfortunately, the whole bezel has separated off. This was because of a shipping issue where the person who packed it packed it really tightly. And so with these JVCs, they have pretty... Uh, how should I say, fragile bezels here, and unfortunately that broke, but that was the only thing that I've had go wrong with shipping. This one came through shipping, this one came through shipping, this one came through shipping as well, and this is my Sony GVM. That is the, I guess you could say, probably the best out of all of them, considering its multi-format capability. So what I'm going to do is we're going to dive in here, take a look at the uh, monitor, see how well it's packed, see how it is, and yeah, Let's get into it. Alright, so I have the box open here, and as you can see, I have everything set up so you can actually see uh, the inside here, just to see how it looks. So, from first glance, uh, I've already pulled off some of the packing foam and stuff. I have it in here, uh, just as a trash bag to keep everything contained. Um, as you might notice, there's a lot of packing peanuts, and there's a bunch of bubble wrap on top of the CRT. And of course, there too, you have the power cable. Uh, so, I also wanted to mention, too, that I have technically bought from the same seller before on eBay uh, for, funny enough, the exact same video monitor in the past. Uh, and the last one was packed similar to this. The box may have been a little bit bigger uh, and a little bit more hefty because this box here, I believe, it's double-sided. So, this box is a little bit stronger. Obviously, with FedEx, there's a bit of a mixed review on it. Right here, as you can see, there is actually a pretty bad ding uh, right there. And it, from the looks of it, it seems to be fine. Um, whenever I was moving the package around and everything, there wasn't any shaking, anything like that. But just at first glance, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, get the whole thing out, clear out all the debris, so you can see how it looks like as I'm pulling off the bubble wrap. All right, so I just took the CRT out of the box, and as you can see here, it's actually pretty well wrapped. It's kind of like a Christmas present, honestly, but the way it was packed, it was packed uh, facing forward like so. Uh, the top is right here, and then the back was pressed uh, a little closely to the back of the box, but because of the box, how it looked, it came in pretty good shape. So, yeah. But anyways, there's a whole bunch of bubble wrap all packed around here, and then as you can see inside, they used more bu bubble wrap right here, and they used a crap load of packing peanuts. And it's kind of what you want to see, uh, especially if you're shipping a CRT, a small one that is. Uh, now, like I said, I did ship that 20 inch there, uh, and that one came a little bit damaged, but for the most part, these 13 inch ones and smaller, they tend to be a little bit easier to get around just because they're a bit lighter they're more compact, you can fit a whole bunch more packing peanuts into a smaller size, and the shipping tip typically is cheaper too. Because the one thing you have to understand about these CRTs is that they're heavy, they're bulky, and shipping them can be a butt. So, yeah, when it comes to eBay shipping, do take it at your own risk. Understand that also on eBay too, prices and everything is pretty, how should I say, not the best. You can get good deals here and there, but for the most part, people are trying to make profit. People are trying to make money. They're not going to be selling these for like $10 on eBay when the shipping cost 
ends up being like 20 or 30 dollars or anything like that so you have to be a little mindful of such uh and that's typically what i do whenever i come and get them but anyways everything looks good so far like i said this is pretty thick you could say it's not super thick but especially on the edges here it's packed well and with how much bubble wrap and uh, styrofoam or packing peanuts there were in there i mean it was pretty good also, luckily, this uh, TV, or not this TV, this video monitor only had to travel through one state. Uh, so it came down to me pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> let me go ahead and open this up and show you how the TV looks, or the video monitor looks inside. All right, I got my trusty knife here. Let's go ahead and dig into it, shall we? So... Okay, first off, you never want to cut towards yourself. You want to cut away from yourself. That's the biggest thing about knives. Trust me, I know. I've seen my dad do it. It was not pretty. Oh. Also, be sure whenever you're cutting, too, to cut upwards so you don't stab your, uh, your package. Uh, so, yeah. This is coming out pretty good. And of course, also with bubble wrap too, this will generate some static electricity. So just be careful, especially if you're opening this up right away after you get it out of the box, which I'm not sure if you would or not, but this is an electronic component. So you always want to be mindful of static electricity. But here it is. Oh, let's see. So at first glance, everything looks good. All buttons work great. The back here looks pretty solid. There's no issues with any of these here. These BNC connectors are good. RCA connectors are good. Has videos in. Let's see, this is a 2005 monitor from April. Mine, my other one was a 2006, so this one's a little older, but based on the staining right here, this may have come from the same place as the, uh, what is it, as the other video monitor that I had. So this is really cool. So, yeah, so far this is pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and set this up. I'll take a good look at it, see how it displays. Uh, there is one disclaimer, and I'll get into that in here in a little bit. Alright, so I just got the JVC hooked up onto here, and as you can see, this TV, or this video monitor looks pretty dang good uh, just off first rip. I got 240p test suite plugged in through S-Video on my Super Nintendo. Uh, and one of the disclaimer, or the disclaimer that I mentioned here just now, um, when I bought this video monitor, it had a issue on the left side here where the screen was magnetized and I had a purity problem. Uh, I'm not sure if this one has that as of right now. Let me go ahead and check here. See if I can get it to show. Uh, it does not look like it has that magnetization problem like the, vid or like the screen showed uh, in the eBay listings, which is nice because uh, the last one that I bought had the same issue. It had the exact same magnetization on the left side. Uh, and the issue was the purity of the phosphors here. Some electrons were getting redirected to the wrong spot and they were illuminating the wrong phosphors. Now, there is an easy way to fix that. And I was going to show you on this video because I have a degaussing coil uh, to do so. But it looks like I don't have to do that. Uh, all I have to do really is adjust the contrast. Uh, of this, adjust the tint a little bit because it looks like the red is way too hot. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> you can't see it in the video here, but I can tell you right now the red looks pink. And that's a mix of a couple things, so I'm going to go through my usual, fix all that up. Um, it looks like compared to the previous JVC2, we have a very tiny bit of underscan on both sides there. My other one had overscan actually just a little bit. You know, with these uh, with these budget video monitors, you really don't have very much uh, control that you can do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and look over it just a little bit more. 
let's see here, check the monoscope. So yeah, this can show you a little bit of the edge of each side there. It looks pretty good though. The convergence is all right, though the bottom over there is a little bit curved down, though that slightly amplified to the fact that the screen also is slightly up. The picture wise is actually slightly down as well. I'm not sure if I can fix that or not on this specific monitor, but I can tell you the convergence looks okay. Uh, I will also have to double check it once I actually fix all the colors, because like I said, this it's pink. <laughs> Grid looks pretty good. Uh, just from looking at the corners here, the convergence looks alright. It does get a little blurry towards the edges, but it's not a really huge deal. Uh, and then let's see here, convergence. So this pattern, obviously this shows you here now, like there's a lot more spacing on this side. Um, but yeah, this is not too bad. The focus might need some adjusting, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, I've already worked on a monitor like this before, so this is something that's not really new to me uh, per se. Maybe some of the geometry adjustments are but the convergence adjustments, everything like that. I've already torn apart this uh, sort of monitor before because I've already had one. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and set up a game on it just to show you how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and calibrated the screen a little bit as best as I could. Uh, unfortunately, this screen also doesn't have, like, vertical position. Uh, it ha it's weird. It has horizontal position, not horizontal size, but then it has vertical uh, vertical size, but not vertical position. Uh, it doesn't have any corner adjustments. It has <clears throat> a couple vertical, like, correction adjustments, but nothing crazy. Um, so I was only able to do so much with it. There's still going to be a little bit of underscan on each side. My previous JVC didn't do that, so likely that's just an issue with uh, either quality control or maybe capacitors on the board changing it up or some of the resistors being a little bit different. Either way, uh, it doesn't matter too much to me because I got the screen pretty good. Uh, it looks fantastic right now, uh, especially from a distance. Uh, it, for me, being a stickler for details, uh, I kind of want to go and redo the convergence on this a little bit just to try and... I guess make myself a little bit more satisfied. <laughs> but overall, this tube is pretty good so far. Uh, right now, I'm running Zelda a Link to the Past through S-Video uh, on my Super Nintendo. And I hope you guys enjoy that uh, video, as this looks pretty dang good at 240p. Now, one thing I will say about these video monitors, especially this one, and I'm not going to go in depth with this. This was mainly just a video from me showing how it looks like whenever I was uh, buying this specific monitor from eBay, kind of what are sort of the things you got to understand about, but I mean, heck, <laughs> this is pretty dang good for what it is. Uh, these specific monitors, though, you really want to use them for mostly 240p, especially. Uh, at the size, you can get away with 480i, but 240p is the main thing and where this at. So that's kind of why I got this video monitor. And the previous one that I had, I really liked. So kind of was a little, you could say I missed my old one. So I got this one again. <laughs> but yeah, just goes to show you though, with eBay, uh, if you're going to take a little bit of a risk, go ahead and do it. Um, the worst that can happen is you get a broken CRT and a refund. Um, but obviously, I'm not trying to tell you to go out and try to scam every single, uh, seller out there because, you know, that's just not the right thing to do. But obviously, whenever you're buying a CRT off eBay, especially a bigger one, this one's 13 inches, so this one's pretty reasonable in terms of portability. But anything 20 inches and above, especially Sony PVMs, they can get pretty heavy. And while PVMs are built, built really well... Uh, I've noticed that they've had a, they've had problems in the past where the screen will disconnect from the actual bezel and on the inside, and it may cause damage. So you have to be really careful when shipping these things out, especially Sony's, given how heavy they are compared to these video monitors. Uh, so yeah, overall my experience has been good. Uh, you know, yours might vary. 
especially with these things, you know, old technology breaks, that sort of deal. You get FedEx, not the best shipping company in the world for keeping things nice and, how should I say, uh, maintained <laughs> during shipping. Uh, but yeah, so that's just kind of what it is, what it is whenever you get into something like this. Now, obviously I would tell you before you buy off something from eBay, look at your local listings first, Facebook marketplace, anything like that, you know, that will kind of guarantee you the ability to go out there and check it for yourself. So you know that everything works. And then by that time it's your, becomes your responsibility you can transport it however you feel like will be the safest, you know, it'll be in your hands. So, that's kind of my take on it. Uh, I don't really have too much to say about eBay and about stuff like this happening. Um, but, yeah. I guess just take it with a grain of salt, maybe? <laughs> but, if you watched any of, like, Steve from RetroTech videos, anything like that, he, he goes over quite a bit of him ordering uh, CRTs off eBay, especially Sony PVMs, you know, he's kind of a big Sony guy in that regard. Um, but he, he, he does a lot of good videos showing kind of like the boxes and the, the wrapping that was in them. And then also like sometimes he'll show like the damages that have happened with these uh, video monitors that come through. It's unfortunate that you lose some, but that's just how it goes whenever you're shipping these things. So for anybody, ordering off of it, just be careful, be safe, you know, if something does break, the least you can do is try to get your money back or try to negotiate with the seller, say, hey, look, this happened, you know, what can we do to fix this, but if you get something like this where everything is good and it's actually better than what I expected from eBay, <laughs> considering I thought I had to do a purity, uh, or a degaussing thing on this, then yeah, go for it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see a little bit more of an in-depth overview on this JVC here, as well as the JVC above, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments, and let me know in the comments too, uh, what your experiences are from eBay, and kind of what's happened to you. Have you had any good ones? Have you had any bad ones? You know, that sort of deal. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope this has helped you figure out what your next purchase is going to be, uh, whether it's on eBay or locally or whatever.